everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a little video giving you guys a bit of a tour of my MTB van. Um, I made a video, oh gosh, it was quite a while back now and it was when I first bought this van and I've had this van for two years now so it was a long time ago, um, during the lockdown actually. So me and my dad carpeted the back of the van and put like a rubber matting on the floor. Um, and that was pretty much it. I had plans to do lots more in the back, but that didn't actually happen because I moved to Chelmsford. So my dad wasn't nearby to have the van to do bits and bobs, but I wanted to give you a tour of it today, show you what it is that I actually drive, um, give you as much information about the spec and things like that as possible, and show you around because since that video, I've added a few extra bits and you can probably see one behind me now what I'm sat on, but I'll show you guys in a bit more detail. Um, and also I'll show, you, I'll show you and tell you about plans that I've got for this van up and coming. Um, and if you guys have any other ideas as well of what I can do to it, then definitely let me know because it's kind of a work in progress and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna start off by giving you a bit of a tour of the interior, so where I'm sat now. So I thought it would actually make more sense to tell you what it actually is that I drive instead of showing you the inside first. So it is a VW Caddy Highline 2020 model. Um, it's a two litre diesel and it's pretty sick it is in the color you might be able to see behind me i'll show you in a second it is in the color pure gray and i do have to apologize because i haven't cleaned it it's filthy dirty um i find winter really hard to actually clean a van i know you should and i have done in the past but as soon as you clean it it gets dirty again and i actually only cleaned this the other week um but never mind mtb in the winter you're going to get dirty and your vehicle is going to get dirty but anyway yeah like i said pure grey colour VW Caddy with a tailgate not the barn doors as well. So here it is in all its glory so we've got the alloy wheels we've obviously got the tailgate here which is nice with the spoiler we've got the sliding door on the passenger side and the colour pure grey so it looks super sick I think personally. Right so moving on to the interior in the front so there's two seats in this van some smaller vans actually have three seats but this one only has two which is perfect because you can only really fit two or three bikes in the back anyway so you you only need to carry an extra person but i'll give you a quick tour of the inside excuse the mess like i said i haven't cleaned it in a while and obviously i've got quite a few costa cups in here because if you guys have been watching these videos you'll know i love coffee and cake so that is the reason for that um and yeah my bags are on the seat so this is the interior don't know if you can see that very well but so right first new addition is this dry robe seat cover and it is absolutely gorgeous so it's super fluffy so in the wet and rain and things like that this dries off really quickly and it's super nice it's actually meant for surfing but i find it really handy for mtv as well so this is the dashboard super nice steering wheel you've got all the controls on the steering wheel here as well so you've got the cruise control and you've got um shifting through your computer up here your trip and phone okay the start computer is turning on so you've got basically your controls for the heat you've got your hazard lights and so this particular model has the sat nav built in so you've got the radio you've got media so you can connect your phone and play songs through your phone you've got the actual phone you've got the voice so you can press that and speak to the computer um, I've got my mum, my dad and Tom and SOS. You can set icon pictures. Tom used to have one but I don't know where it's gone now. Um, this side you've got a jack so you've got a CD. You can put CDs in there. Um, the nav which goes like that which is sick. You've got apps so you need to app connect for that. I haven't got that on this one. And then you've got the menu so use this button here to scroll around which is sick. I think that's pretty much it for the interior. I don't really know what else there is to say. You've got, you've actually got a rear view mirror which is kind of pointless because you can't see behind me. Um, but behind me we have got the, um, like a bulkhead 
this one's got holes in it so you can see inside which I find really useful because sometimes bikes fall over things go everywhere so you can just have a peek to see what's happened behind um, it's got heated wing mirrors as well and there's a cool compartment above my head here which you can put like I don't know paperwork in if you want um, but other than that it's got pretty much everything a normal car has obviously I will show you the back now um, but again please excuse the mess it's had bikes in there so there's dust dirt sand mud you name it there's everything in there so let's go and check that out okay so like I mentioned we have got the tailgate which is sick so another addition that I've had put onto this van since you guys saw it last is I've had a rear bumper protector put on and some mud guards the bumper protector is super handy because lifting bikes in and out sometimes pedals catch and things like that and when you're pulling them out the tyres hit the rear bumper and I don't want to scratch it I absolutely love this van and I don't want it to get damaged in any way so we've added that and the mud guards which are really handy because that actually reduces the noise because the mud and spray through the wheels going into the metal bit is so loud and noisy and this actually helps with that so I shall show you that now so that is the bumper protector it's just a black matte one and these are the mud guards which are super sick Right, we're inside the back of the van now and we've still got the carpet. The carpet goes all across the ceiling, the side and um, like to, like this part of the van, so here as well, which is sick. And we've got the rubber mat on the floor, which is this absolute lifesaver because like I said, bikes in the winter especially are wet, muddy and I didn't want carpet on the floor because it stains and it will just look horrible after a while whereas at least with the rubber mat you can wipe it and the mud goes instantly so that's one absolute godsend and I'm super stoked with. Um, so this back bit uh, isn't huge, I can fit two bikes in here nicely depending on what bike you've got so I can fit an e-bike and a jump bike or two jump bikes pretty good or two e-bikes pretty good um i have actually had a lot more bikes in here though when i moved to chelmsford i had four bikes in the back but obviously you have to take both wheels out to fit them in and it's a bit of a game of tetris so comfortably i can fit two in here and since that video that i did at the start which i keep going on about but since that last van video we have actually fitted some block pods now block pods are so good basically you take your wheel out of your forks you put your forks into the block pod and your axle from your front forks goes through and it tightens and clamps so the bike is super sturdy and I got sent these from block pod I'll leave the link below um, I'll show you quickly what they look like okay so these are the block pods they come with removable ends so these adapters you can take out depending on what size forks you've got and I've got these on a metal rail so this just screws into the floor it literally doesn't go anywhere but what you can do is you can unscrew these things here and move it along so depending on where you want to clamp your bike down these are really really good I've got one that end as well like you can see there um, because I can't fit two bikes next to each other so they have to go top and tail so like I was saying at the start, there's carpet all around here and it's tucked up nicely in the corners, such a good job. And it's all inside there. The wheel box covers are covered, so good. And the ceiling is carpeted as well, so it's really, really super nice. And then this is the floor, which is so dirty at the minute, but that's what it's for, I will wipe it. Um, but that's a really good tip if you're doing the van up to have a rubber mat in the floor. Okay, coming in to the side door then. So, excuse my pressure washer and my wellies and stuff, but under all of this, I have got a, a, a tube mat, and this is handy because obviously riding shoes get super dirty, so you can put them on there. And then I can access this bike super easy from in here as well, which is really, really good. Box of spares there, and I've also got some dive bro in the corner there, which you'll see in a later video, what I'm gonna be doing with that. But this is the space from the side. It's really handy. Also carpeted that part of the tailgate as well, just to finish it off, I think it looks super sick. Right, so that is pretty much my MTB dream van in a nutshell. Like I said, it's the VW Caddy. I've had it for two years now, and on the cards for a long time has been to fit an inverter in the back. So if you don't, if you don't know what an inverter is, it basically means that I can charge 
e-bikes, laptops, phones, GoPros, cameras in the back as I'm driving along, um, which is super handy seeing as I ride e-bikes quite a lot. I have had this inverter for probably a year and a half now. I bought it ages ago and it's been sat in my mum and dad's garage and I will get round to fitting it. So there will be a video coming where I do that. If there's anything else you guys think I need to do to the van to make it even better, then let me know. Obviously, I've still got the standard wheels on it, so maybe it would be cool to upgrade that, make it a bit more cool. Um, and also, another thing that I kind of want to do is create some sort of storage in the back because I've got stuff in boxes and I think that I could make space, make use of the space because there's quite a lot of space above the bikes when they're in there. So. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas like that because they would be much appreciated. And I wanna do a bit more of a series on my YouTube channel with my van and do some cool stuff to it because I think there's so much that I can do that I haven't done. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions about the van as well, um, more technic technical questions that I can look up, then let me know and I will do my best to answer them. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Sorry, I just got distracted then because the car went past me and he was smiling at me because he probably is thinking, who the hell is this girl talking to a camera? But anyway, <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned because we are off on the trip of a lifetime. I keep telling you guys that, but it is honestly going to be amazing and I can't wait. We go in officially a week, seven days. So make sure you stay tuned and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.